many years ago, when I was contemplating going to work in my father's shop, so to speak, my dad gave me this book, Acting the First Six Lessons by Richard Boleslavsky. It was the only book on the craft of acting my dad ever gave me, and I've, uh, I've continued the tradition handing it each, to each of my five children. Dad gave me the book when I was about 12, the same year we lost Zaid. My grandfather, I called him Zadie, loved being an actor. Tell me, what, what is the object of an actor's concentration? His part. Yes, until he learns it. But it's only after studying and rehearsing that the actor starts to create. And what is acting? Acting is... When he acts, when, when he acts, um... Well, you I, I don't, you I don't want know. to consecrate all your life to a task without knowing what it is? Acting is the life of the human soul receiving its birth through art. Have you ever sat in the woods on the edge of a lake after sundown? Yes. Were there mosquitoes around? It was in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Did they annoy you? Yes. Did you follow one amongst them with your eyes, ears, and hate until the beast landed on your forearm? Yes. And did you slap your forearm cruelly without even thinking of the hurt to yourself, only the wish to, to kill, kill the, the beast? beast? There you are. A good, sensitive artist needs nothing more than that to play Othello in Desdemona's final scene. <laughs> Cut, cut, cut. I, we're going to try it from Ask Any of My Friends, but yes, this time, back. honey, don't start wringing your hands until I went nowhere near his house that night. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yes, but you understand like, me? Um, All right, here we go. I feel it. This is the one. Here we go. <laughs> Speed! Light! Roll camera! And give it to me. <laughs> Action! How would you describe the quality of Shakespeare's mind? A mind of lightning-like speed, <coughs> highly concentrated, authoritative, even in moments of doubt, spontaneous. The first thought is always the last one, direct and outspoken, as Ophelia. Your action is to preserve your dignity. The ruler of the reigning house is making unsuitable remarks to you publicly, and even if it pleases him to kill you, you will die with the dignity appropriate to your state. Your action is not to break down not to show weakness. If you'd like another cup of tea, pour it yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so you mean to say that great actors walk through life spying on their relatives, acquaintances, and passers-by? I'm afraid they do, madam. And besides, they spy on themselves, too. We are speaking of great actor. Mm, like your niece. She's a spoiled creature. She's a marvelous creature. This is what the world really is. From the stone up to the human soul. The theater and the actor enter this picture only as a part. But the actor cannot Portray the whole if she if does she not... not become a part. <laughs> mm. yeah. My dad was my teacher. Now, he was the one that gave me this book, as I told you before. But I also worked with him uh, several times. And I directed him, actually, in things. And it was very weird working with him. It was kind of like acting in this thing. Because I'd be working with him in a scene, and he'd be there for me as the other actor, but he'd also be looking at me like a director, like my teacher. <laughs> Like my dad. <laughs> and one time, one time we were doing a very emotional scene playing father and son, and uh, he had to slap me in the scene. And then I was supposed to grab him by his shirt and push him up against a pillar. And 
uh, I'm doing the scene, and, and I could tell I was kind of pushing the emotion. I really wasn't there. And I could see the disappointment in his eyes when he's doing the scene with me. And he, when it came to him, hit me. He hit me so hard. <laughs> I thought he broke my jaw. And I staggered back like this, and then I grabbed his chest, his, his shirt, and I grabbed him, and I pushed him up against the pillar like this, and did my scene to him, and I was like, you know, just fuming. And when we were done, uh, you know, I said to him, I said, Dad, what were you thinking of, man? I said, you almost broke my jaw. He says, you think that's bad? Look at this. He reaches inside his shirt and pulls out a big wad of his chest hair that I <laughs> that I torn off of his chest. <laughs> And for me, it was just incredible because, you know, my dad is, is, was my first teacher and uh, we, I mean, it was just really, really incredible and I learned lots and I have such a respect for the writing process after doing this um, and for writers, my goodness. But we, it was fun and we had a great time together.